This is the woman that Alexander Lukashenko fears the most. Svetlana Sikhanovska ran for president in 2020 and insists she won that election. So the next day uh, after elections, I was met by two high-ranked uh, KGB uh, people. They were persuading me that you have to leave uh, Belarus, uh, otherwise you uh, will be in prison for many, many years. Hundreds of thousands of Belarusians protested, saying the election was stolen. With help from Vladimir Putin, Lukashenko cracked down violently on the rallies. 18 months later, Putin called in the debt. When he invaded Ukraine, he used Belarus as a launching pad. Lukashenko managed to stay in power only thanks to violence and thanks to support of uh, Putin. At least 33 journalists are currently in jail in Belarus, and their union has been designated an extremist organization. In 2020, Svetlana Sikhanovska campaigned for the release of all political prisoners. There are now more than 1,500 behind bars. You know, uh, they are the main source of my uh, inspiration and uh, reason that I'm not giving up. They believe in us, and you say, look, stand up and go and fight further. Among those political prisoners is her husband, Sergei. The pair are not allowed to write to each other, but her children send him drawings. And what does this one say here, this message from your daughter? Uh, I'm Agnia, it's her name. You are my daddy and uh, I love you. From exile, Svetlana Sikhanovska is lobbying for sanctions against the regime to be intensified. And she's hoping the political prisoners and her country will soon be free. Steve Kinane, ABC News, Vilnius.